Well, hello there. It's uh, Puck. Good to see you. How's everybody doing? What's everybody been up to? Uh, trying to smile. Uh, obviously, it's been a, a tough a few uh, months and a few weeks and a few days uh, for me. Uh, you're watching this uh, right now on PuckSports.com. That's the new venture. That's the new place. You're going to catch all the content. We're going to explain more of it. I'm going to explain more of it uh, coming up here, uh, here shortly. But uh, I just wanted to talk to you guys, uh, the listeners out there, the viewers out there. Um, sorry for all of this. Sorry that, that what has happened and what has taken place. And, and thank you for all of... Um, Thank you for all the comments and all the well wishes and everything that you have said on social media about not only myself, but about Jim. It has been extremely, extremely humbling uh, to read all of the, the well wishes. Uh, I, I don't, I hope you, you may have just a little bit of understanding of how, how good it has made us feel. I mean, I wish it, we, we wish it was under different circumstances, obviously, uh, but it is not lost on us the the amount of outpouring of support and love uh, that you have all shared with us that I don't think that uh, I know myself, I don't think I'll ever, I don't want to speak for Jim, but I don't think I can ever uh, repay you. I mean, I think Jim would say the same thing. So, but um, it has been just a whirlwind of a last few days uh, for sure. And I, I do want to say that I, I feel for the people that we used to work with. Uh, I know it's, you know, not easy to go through that. I've been on that side so many, many times in this industry where, where somebody is let go and and you kind of have to sit there and, and answer all the questions uh, for them and about them and what people are saying about the place where you work at. And you're like, I didn't have anything to do with it. And you have to wear it and own it. And it's unfortunate and it, it shouldn't be that way. But the reality of this business, uh, it's like that. I've gone through it so many times, uh, me personally, obviously. Uh, with with co-hosts that it's it's hard because there's things that you want to say but you can't say because you're not allowed to say it uh, you're not allowed to say the truth uh, because you know of, of legal things uh, and and such but uh, I just want to take a few minutes here before I tell you what's coming up on on this show and what you're gonna about to watch and what you're about to listen to and what you're gonna get here in the future is just a, a an enormous thank you uh, to all of you uh, out there because. Um, since I was a little kid, about 12 years old, I, I wanted to do, uh, two things. I wanted to do three things I wanted to eat. Uh, number two, number two, uh, I wanted to talk sports and number three, I've just always wanted to entertain. And, and I think that's what I've tried to do for 22 years at working at KJR was just try to entertain and make people laugh as much as possible. And that's, I've always been that way since I was a little kid, class clown, trying to make people laugh, trying to, you know, stir the, you know, what, and. I know I can swear on this platform, but I'm so conditioned not to swear. It's unbelievable. And uh, I think we did it. I think I did it. And I, I'm excited to keep doing it. Um, I have in my core in is an entertainer, I guess. That's just something I've always wanted to do. It's what I love about kind of live performance is just the thrill of it, um, how scared you can be from it and how you can put yourself out there. And I think there's nothing uh, better than, than kind of that. And uh, that's what we're going to do here. And that's what we're going to try to continue. We're just going to, I'm going to take what I have learned over the years and I'm going to apply it to, I think a new age of media, not like we're reinventing the wheel. I mean, lots of people have done this and tried this and I've had executed this, but uh, just a full transparency of just everything. I mean, this has been a process and something that I have been thinking about working on for, for several years. You know, I, I, Many of us in our industry, especially in our in our time slot, in middays, we, we thought during COVID we were all going to be let go because of the kind of the changing landscape and of things and where we were headed and revenue not coming in and no sports to talk about. There was no end in sight. So, you know, I had thought way back then, what, what's the next, what's the next adventure? What, what's where, how do I take this to another level? And this was kind of always the idea of, of what to do and, and how do I make it, how do I make it better, you know? from what people have done before and the differences and uh, to t you, you st we all steal from each other and, and we learn from each other, but how do I take what somebody else does and apply it here and make it better or make it different, not necessarily make it better, but how do you make it different? And you know, that's what we're going to, that's what I'm going to try and do uh, here uh, under this new uh, venture, pucksports.com. Uh, you'll hear me talk about it. I'll be saying it a lot 
You're going to be able to find us on YouTube. Watch us, this pretty face, this pretty background, uh, pucksports.com on YouTube. Just search Puck Sports. Uh, you're going to be listening to it on Apple Podcasts, searching Puck Sports, Spotify, Puck Sports, uh, anywhere where you find your podcast. God, I get to say that now. How thrilled am I to say and listen to anywhere where you get your podcast? And maybe this will play someplace, and then there'll be a host who will sit there and make fun of it and be like, why would I ever listen to that? And hopefully someone will be playing this promo if there's ever a chance it plays, and somebody can have a snooze button. I, I think that would be funny. I would prefer that if someone would make light of it. Uh, but I wanted to just take a few minutes before I set up what, what's happening on on this episode that you're you're going to get. It's kind of the the teaser episode is – um, it's a full baseball kind of show today with a bunch of different guests. I can't wait for you to get the last guest because the last guest is somebody I've been waiting to talk to for about 10 years. Uh, he's short, he's angry, uh, but he's a dear, dear friend and loyal uh, to the core. I, I just want to take you briefly back to, to last week. I don't want to get too much of the weeds. I, I don't, I'm not here to lay any blame or, or point any fingers at anybody. Uh, it's just not, I don't want to do that. There's too many good people that, that I have worked with and that don't want to drag in uh, to this. And um, it was a process that was at times handled fine and perfectly. And, and then just other times it, you know, got to a point where it just went on too long, but that's corporate media. And that's, that's just what happens. It's just, these things get dragged and dragged a long time. Uh, but, you know, I'd been out without a contract um, since about January and we had just been working hard at it to get it done. A lot of, you know, a lot of extensions, to the, you know, the in, end of the deal, original deal. Uh, when I was away from the station, that was something that we and the station agreed upon just to kind of take a breather, move out, and just kind of see if we could get something done. And we were all hopeful that we would. And, and all signs were pointing towards we were going to get something done. I was only supposed to be away for a couple of days, and and it was going to be resolved uh, real soon. But unfortunately, as, as these things sometimes happen, uh, it just went a little bit longer. And, um, you know, eventually when, you know, I was away and actually this time truthfully on vacation uh, down in Arizona that uh, we had uh, had received the deal and it, it was what we wanted. Uh, but unfortunately, with that news, a few hours later came uh, the dismissal from uh, from corporate that uh, Jim had lost his job. And obviously there was a, a mix of emotions uh, with that for me and um, wrestled with it and the decision, you know, what I would do and. I had good conversations with Jim and, and, and others. And, and Jim certainly was appreciative of anything I wanted to do. Um, but it was hard for me to move forward with the understanding. And I just want you, the listener, to know this, that uh, there's nothing nefarious behind the scenes or any of that. I, I just, I couldn't fight the perception uh, more than anything that I had, had received a, a new deal uh, while at the same time um, my partner and good friend and, Guy I loved to death, grew up reading, you know, when I was a little, little, like little kid. And he was much, much, much older than me. And I just, it was a hard reality. I, I kind of, me personally, the loyalty that I have, I couldn't kind of live with myself. Um, even though that Jim knew that, that what the truth was and that uh, he knew I didn't do anything um, behind the scenes to get a new deal. And I didn't care if he was there or not there. And, um, but I just couldn't have you, the listener, or even people I worked with think that that was the case. And it was hard for me to envision doing the show kind of without him for a while. And there was going to be a time when Jim was going to step away and it was going to be at the end of the year uh, when he was going to be done. And um, he kind of got an extension or had got a verbal kind of extension on what he was going to do and when he was going to step down. And about the end of the year was when he was going to uh, ride off onto the sunset and kind of live down there and bend full time. And uh, so I was excited going into this contract negotiation, knowing that I'd have at least one more year, nine months, nine more months with them. And, uh, but it, it was, you know, abruptly kind of taken away. And so, you know, it just kind of changed my timeline of what I wanted to do and kind of where I felt I was at. Uh, and again, as I kind of started this off, I was always kind of thinking about this move. It's kind of the new wave of media and how we can now uh, as, as broadcasters. And I think any broadcaster out there that we can deliver stuff to people directly and, uh, if we've got the passion and the uh, the courage to do it, we can. And uh, and I and I have all those, and I'm super motivated right now, and and I can't wait. I've probably been busier now than I've ever been in the last 48 hours or, or so, and 
So I'm excited about what this product is, has the capability to deliver and what it's going to look like, what it's going to sound like, the people that are behind this uh, financially as well. And, um, you know, I'm thankful. I'm thankful to a lot of different people. I'm thankful to a lot of guests that you heard throughout the years on my, my show. Uh, they're going to be back. Uh, Jim Duquette, MLB Network Radio. Um, I can't thank Andy Largent, Flatstick, and flatstickpub.com. Check them out. Uh, Flatstick is just a beautiful, beautiful company and have supported me over the last few years, and especially Andy. I just want to give a shout-out to Andy. If Andy, if he's listening and you're watching, thank you. Uh, I love you to death, and, and I just appreciate the, the courage and just the, the, the chance you've kind of taken on me and, and Jim. Um, to Mike Garofolo of NFL Network, who from day one was in – Locked, loaded. I'm explaining to the, him what's going on, and he's kind of, you know, kind of tired of listening to me talk. And he just said, "Stop it! I'm, I'm with you. My loyalty is to you." And um, I love Mike to death, and um, he has just become, you know, a guy that we used to have on all the time. Now has just become a friend. And so, to thank you to Mike uh, at uh, at the NFL Network, but also thank you to uh, the two guys uh, in particular, well, the two guys that make it happen, uh, Jamie Hartley and Andrew Herzog. Uh, Jamie. Uh, they're at Hartley and Hartley Insurance University Place. Uh, all your insurance needs down there. Uh, Jamie is, has been awesome. And uh, the second I brought this idea up to him, Jamie, again, no hesitation. In, in, nope, don't say anymore. I'm in. Uh, Andrew Herzog, uh, despite being a duck, I can't really hate him that much because he's a duck. I mean, we have a mutual hatred, obviously. And, uh, and Andrew, same way. In, don't, you don't have to, you don't have to twist my arm. I'm doing it. Zog's on Fox Island. Check it out if you're down there uh, in the South End. Um, Chris Egan will be back with us uh, with your sunshine and everything on Fridays or uh, on maybe floating days. We're kind of still working at kind of the schedule on all of that and how it will uh, shape up starting next week uh, when we get underway in full force. Uh, but to Zach at Fat Zach's Pizza uh, down there in the South End, uh, Zach, uh, Again, same thing. I'm in. Uh, don't you? You don't got to give me too much information. I ride with you. I ride with Chris. And uh, again, just the loyalty that that Zach showed uh, in this scenario uh, to be a sponsor of this of this uh, a new um, media venture is is awesome. And Rob Staten and Rob, who we've got to know over the you know last really few months, Rob's been an integral part of of us and what we were have been doing on the radio side and now he's going to jump over here with me on the digital side and rob is a superstar and you guys know that i mean that he's a bigger star than, than we'll ever be and, and i can ever be he is he is so good at what he does he is so dialed into what he does and uh, again rob was did not hesitate for a second uh, to jump on board and i want to thank john mcmasters big thanks to john superior linen service that will bring you uh, Rob Staten uh, every single week as we break down talking football. And I'm going to just tell you, there's no one that does it better. No one, no one, no one covers it better. No one has a, a better insight than, than him. And it's just going to be kind of fantastic uh, to watch uh, last. I uh, hopefully I don't forget anybody. Uh, John Canzano, uh, John, just a rock star, an inspiration, an idol of mine, a guy that I've leaned on in a great deal over the last you know few months weeks and days and uh he's just uh, has been a wealth of information a source of great in info and advice and backing and a guy that you can look to as someone who was able to go out on his own and has had extreme amount of success uh, if i could just have a a minuscule amount of success that john has had i'm going to be fine and uh, and i can't wait that he's on board and with his knowledge and his uh, friendship uh, and uh, leadership, uh, I can't wait. Um, I think I mentioned this before, but when I was 12 years old, I wanted to talk sports and entertain, and uh, I've got a chance to do that for, for for so long, and I've never wavered on that entertainment. I've never wavered on wanting to make people laugh, and it's not going to stop now. Uh, I'm going to continue to try and make people laugh and entertain you and talk about sports, but talk about everything, talk about my kids, talk about my family, talk about my friends, and all the other things that you've grown accustomed to when you, you, you listen to the show and you, we open up and it's 20, 30 minutes of nonsense, it's going to carry over here. Uh, I'm an open book, always have been, always will be. I think it's the best thing about what we do in this business is to just provide um, a personality and a human element to it, just not cookie-cutter radio and not cookie-cutter uh, broadcasting because uh, that's not what I am and that's not what this is going to be. Um, 
but I just want to thank you. Uh, the, the outpouring of support again and the well wishes and the thank yous and the kind words. You just don't know what it means to hear people say good stuff about you because uh, there's a lot of negativity in this world, a lot and a lot in this business at times, and we focus in on it too much. And I would just, my advice to anybody who's in this business or whatever, the public eye, is don't have, don't focus in on the negative and try to focus on the positive, but you hear more sometimes from the negative. But um, every one of you that have, that have reached out, whether you somehow got my text, <laughs> somehow got my phone number or not, uh, but all the personal notes on, on social media, it just makes this decision to go in this direction the right one. And I hope you come along for the ride. I hope you support the ride. I hope you jump on. I want you to be interactive. This show is going to be interactive eventually. Uh, you are going to be a as big a part of the success of this uh, than anyone. And it's just going to be delivered differently to you. Uh, but I can't wait. Uh, so, again, PuckSports.com, YouTube, just search Puck Sports uh, on uh, X social media, uh, Puck2040. 2040, that's the name of my media company, 2040 uh, Media LLC. I want to give a big thanks uh, to uh, the Magnolia Belly, James, uh, for helping me with that. Uh, you're a good friend, and uh, <clears throat> you've really helped me along the way uh, figure this stuff out, and uh, I can't thank you enough uh, for that. Uh, a big shout-out to my buddy Mark, who uh, is going to help with this website and, and illustrate this website, and it's beautiful work, and it's only going to get better. Um, uh, to all my friends, uh, back at the station. I love you to death, uh, all of you. Um, and I wish you nothing but success. Uh, I really, truly do. I love it. It's not going to like I'm, I'm shutting anybody off. I'm not. Um, I'm just, I'm jumping in the deep end of the pool. And um, I'm going to see if I can swim or, or sink. And, um, based on my size, though, I should have buoyancy and, and probably float. So I think I'll be okay. Uh, but thank you all. Thank you to my family. Uh, my beautiful kids, my beautiful wife, uh, with just unwavering support and just never doubted uh, the decision, never questioned it, never said you're making a mistake, nothing, just with full-on support. And that's what makes a difference in this world when you've got full-on support from your family and your friends. And uh, so it's a beautiful thing. Uh, I love all of you. Uh, content starting. This is a special opening day show. You're going to hear from some great baseball guests. It's going to start off with Jim Duquette, MLB Network Radio. Again, all brought to you by Flatstick Pub. Visit flatstickpub.com. Great for parties, uh, uh, women events, men events, kid events, corporate parties, flatstickpub.com. Say Andy sent you. Uh, Andy's the best. I think he used to play football at Wazoo. No one has ever, there's not, I don't think there's a record of it, but I, Andy goes with the story. So I think we let him have it. Uh, but uh, go check it out. It's it's just a, an awesome place. Uh, not only watch the Cougs, but to watch uh, any sporting event and just any corporate parties, uh, business parties, whatever you got. Uh, but it's a great place to just have a, a cold pint of beer and, and good food. And check out the new Pioneer Square uh, location there as well. Got a brand new kitchen, focuses in on, on pizza and uh, right in time for the, for the start of opening day and all of that. You're going to hear from Jim Duquette. Uh, the last guest you're going to hear from today um, is a guy I've been waiting for for about 10 years to talk to again. And uh, I, I just, he's a dear friend, and I, I can't wait uh, for you all to, to hear us once again. Um, give us some time because it's, you know, before we get into baseball, we, we go down memory lane, and, and I love him to death. But uh, I think you're going to be thrilled to be hearing him uh, one more time uh, with me because I know I am. So please visit PuckSports.com. Follow us on YouTube at PuckSports. Follow us on Spotify, Apple Podcast at PuckSports, Amazon Podcast as well wherever you find your podcasts, okay? Uh, PuckSports.com. Thank you, listeners. I love you so much. PuckSports.com.